arriving in the mail. Way 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield digs deeper into how this affects you. She's live at the H&R Block on West Broadway. And Cedra, what should people watch out for? W-2s like this, they're starting to arrive in your mailbox, and when you open them up, you might notice something new this year, something tax experts say you shouldn't let catch you off guard. On your W-2, you actually see, um, I think, box DD, it'll have the contribution your um, employer made for your insurance premium. Tax preparers say that's new this year, but nothing to be alarmed about. Tax experts say those who should be alarmed are the presently uninsured. This year there is a penalty if clients did not get the mandated minimum essential coverage. That penalty is $95 or 1% of your total income. Will not only increase next year's 2% of your total income or $395 per person. But applies to both those who lacked and failed to enroll in the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare and get this, also those who waited until the last minute. If you didn't have insurance for more than three months of 2014, then you will be eligible for a penalty. That could potentially lower your income depending on um, the filing threshold. There are a few ways for the uninsured to get around being penalized. Income thresholds exempt those making less than $10,000 a year on their own or $13,000 jointly. You made less than that, you're okay. While hardships also qualify for a penalty pass. Maybe you've been evicted this year, had your utilities turned off, those are things that we can clearly get you an exemption for. Those that did enroll in marketplace plans like Connect and did so in time will be rewarded with tax credits. When you get it through the marketplace, that's a government funded program, so you will be eligible for some, some credits there. With penalties only expected to climb, tax preparers are expanding their services. We can help you find coverage. We have healthcare agents at Liberty that actually sign you up for coverage. In hopes of connecting every uninsured person with health care. Bottom line, if you signed up for a federal health care plan, you could be eligible for a tax credit. If you did not and are not insured through your employer, you could be eligible for that tax penalty. Live in Louisville tonight, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News.